happy to catch up with you because this is your show, if anyone's. Your, what's your title at New Vocations? I'm the facilities manager for Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, and who have we got here? This is Pentagon. Pentagon's at his first show and he's already won a handful of ribbons. Uh, he's a four-year-old by Smart Strike. And uh, Pentagon used to lose a lot of his riders at the track <laughs> and he's decided the world of show hunters is more suited to his temperament. Oh, he's a beautiful looking animal. And we're here at the All Thoroughbred Show at uh, the Horse Park. It's a, it's a first, but... It's, prop, it's popular. There's lots of it's it's very popular. It's been going very well. Good atmosphere and vibe, and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Good. How, did you just bring Pentagon, or did you bring others? I brought Pentagon, and uh, there was a horse that I prepped for Aikendale Thoroughbred Rescue in New York, who's currently in the Warhorse class. I love the Warhorse class. What are the, tell me the, what you have to do to be in the Warhorse class. He had to win. I think it was in excess of a hundred thousand. Or have over 50 stars. That's and amazing. he won, I think, close to 300,000. Wow. So, That's great. And he had a quite a remarkable story. He, um, he had ra been raised and he had been sold, and then he was found in like some rather bad circumstances. He's in the kill pen, right? I believe so. And uh, Aikendale bought him back to give him his permanent retirement home. And there's the most fantastic sort of quiet energy here. You do, I mean, the opposite to what people expect with crazy thoroughbreds. There's just this gentle, lovely atmosphere. Yeah, look at him. Well, like, Pentagon had, like, a rather fearsome reputation at the track, and as you can see, he's handling this better than anybody. And this is, you said this is the first time he's been ridden at a show, the first time the he's first been ridden... Time he, it's the first time he's ever been ridden outside. It's the first time he's ever been ridden in the company of other horses. And the crossword rails were substantially larger than what we practised at home. <laughs> Plus they had ground rails on each side, which he'd never seen before. And he was game, and he's got several thirds and fourths. So, can we talk quickly a little bit about what we're going to do at Rolex for the Thoroughbreds? Yeah, I believe that we're doing, uh, it's called Thoroughbreds for All, and it's uh, New Vocations in conjunction with Stuart Pittman. And as far as I'm aware, um, Chris McCarran will be there with some of the young riders from his school and they'll be doing a demonstration on new vocation horses of how jockeys ride. And then I believe I'll be presenting all the new vocation horses that I currently have available. And there'll be a panel of professionals evaluating them. And after that, I think they're going to call back maybe three or four horses that they want to see on the saddle. It's great. And you're going to have a dinner, I think, on one of the nights at, it's at all, New it's Vocations. All, it's all catered, yes. And there's something at Keenan, I think, on the Friday night. And also this year, there's a record number of off-the-track thoroughbreds at Rolex. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is just great. More and more people are becoming aware that, you know, thoroughbreds, you just can't beat them. I know. I mean, I, we've had a really good year. It's only the second week of April. I've already placed 26 horses. Great. So, I mean... How can people get in touch with you and, and look at your website? Uh, the website is www.horseadoption.com and my email address is lisa at horseadoption.com. Great. Well, enjoy the rest of the day. And thank you so much. Thank you.